today we are going to discuss different types of boundary conditions before starting our topic we define what is a boundary point and what is boundary let capital s be a non empty set a point z is called a boundary point of capital s if every delta neighborhood of z contains at least one point of capital s and at least one point not in s the totality of all the boundary points define the boundary of capital s for example the points on the circle z minus z naught absolute equal to small r are the boundary points for the disk z minus z naught absolute less than or equal to r geometrically we can see that the circle with center at point z naught and radius r is represented by the yellow color and the disk is the union of the yellow color and light blue color here if we take every delta neighborhood of the points on the circle z minus z not absolute equal to r which is represented by the yellow color that neighborhood contains at least one point from inside the disk and one point from outside the disk therefore each point on the circle z minus z not absolute equal to r is a boundary point of this disk therefore in this case the boundary of the set s which is a disk in this case is the circle z minus z not absolute equal to r now we define what is boundary condition boundary conditions are constraints necessary for the solution of a boundary value problem both ordinary and partial differential equations need boundary conditions to be solved different types of boundary conditions can be imposed on the boundary of the domain say d the choice of the boundary condition is fundamental for the resolution of the computational problem a bad imposition of the boundary condition may lead to the divergence of the solution or convergence to a wrong solution there are five types of boundary conditions first is dirichlet boundary conditions second is newman boundary conditions third robbins boundary conditions fourth mixed boundary conditions and fifth cauchy boundary conditions now we study each of these conditions in detail first is dirichlet boundary condition the dirichlet boundary condition is a type of boundary condition named after peter gostev region dirichlet this condition specifies the value that the unknown function needs to take on take on along the boundary of the domain capital d for example if u of xt represents displacement of a vibrating string and its ends are fixed at x equal to 0 and x equal to h then the conditions u at 0t equal to 0 and u at h comma t equal to 0 are dirichlet boundary conditions so in these conditions the function the solution of the differential equation 
takes the value at particular boundary points. Our next type is Newman boundary conditions. The Newman boundary condition is a type of boundary condition named after Carl Newman. This condition specifies the values that the derivative of a solution is going to take in the direction normal to the boundary of the domain capital D, which is written as partial u by partial n. The normal derivative on, on the boundary partial u by partial n is defined as partial u by partial n is equal to gradient of u dot n which is equal to partial u by partial x1 comma partial u by partial x2 comma up to so on partial u by partial xn dot n where n is the outward normal to the boundary For example, suppose u of xt is the temperature in a rod of length capital L. If the rod is perfectly insulated at x equal to 0 and x equal to capital L, the heat flux at these points is 0. From the Fourier law of heat conduction, it follows that the appropriate boundary conditions are partial u by partial x at 0 t equal to 0 and partial u by partial x at l t equal to 0. These are Newman boundary conditions which are imposed due to the perf perfect insulation of the endpoints of the rod. Our next type is Robin's boundary conditions. The Robin, Robin's boundary condition is a type of boundary condition named after Victor Gostev Robin. The Robin boundary condition is a weighted combination of Dritchlet boundary conditions and Newman boundary conditions in all the parts of the boundary. The general form of such boundary conditions is u alpha into u plus beta into partial u by partial n at the boundary is equal to f of x at the boundary points where constants alpha and beta represent weights. For example, suppose u of x comma t is the temperature in a rod of length capital L if the rod is poorly insulated at the endpoints of the rod, then boundary conditions might take the form u at 0 t plus partial u by partial x at 0 comma t equal to 0 and u at capital L comma t plus partial u by partial x at capital L comma t equal to u naught. This is Robin's boundary condition. Our next conditions are mixed boundary conditions. Mixed boundary conditions refer to the case in which Dritchlet boundary conditions are prescribed in some part of the boundary, while Newman boundary conditions exist in the other. For example, suppose u of x comma t is the temperature in a rod of length capital L, let one end of the rod is in a water bath with constant temperature while other end is connected to a heater with constant heat transfer rate. Then mixed boundary conditions take the form u at 0 comma t equal to capital A and partial u by partial x at L comma t equal to capital B where capital A and capital B are constants. Our next conditions are Cauchy boundary conditions. 
the cauchy boundary condition is a type of boundary condition named after augustin louis cauchy the cauchy boundary condition specifies both the functional value and normal derivative on the boundary of the domain it differs from robin's condition because the cauchy condition implies the imposition of two constraints that is first one is drisled boundary condition and the second one is newman boundary condition whereas the robin's condition implies only one constraint on the linear combination of the unknown function and its derivative for example cauchy boundary conditions are less common but they are ideally imposed on a problem to ensure that a unique solution exists for heat equation partial u by partial t equal to k into partial 2u by partial x2 the conditions u at 0 comma t equal to capital a and partial u by partial x at 0 comma t equal to capital b are cauchy boundary conditions here you can note that both the conditions are defined at the same location this is the main difference between robin's conditions and cauchy conditions